this video, we're going to download a list of all the stocks in the US stock market. And then we're going to sort them to find only those that are uh, greater than 500 million in market cap. Um, to do this, if you look at the uh, diagram, we're going to do three things. One, we're going to uh, download a list of all the stocks from the internet. Secondly, we have to um, get a, uh, download what the market caps are of all those stocks uh, using Python. And then we've got to write some formulas in Excel to calculate which stocks are greater than half, half 500 million in uh, market cap. That leaves us with a, a, a final list as uh, in the diagram. And then that's then used to uh, in used that list of stocks is used to scrape the earnings data and the price data so that uh, we can do a discounted cash flow valuation of all the stocks. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to uh, do it step by step, build the Excel spreadsheet, write the Python code line by line so that you can kind of do it with me and um, you know you can push pause on the video and do things and uh, see if they work and basically follow along with me. So let's get to it. So the first thing is we need to download a list of US stocks. Now the place where I go to do that is if you open your uh, web browser and there's a website called eoddata.com uh, so just type in your browser eoddata.com forward slash symbols dot aspx enter hey and what you get is a list of all the stocks now if you click on this drop down there's all these various uh, exchanges where stocks are we only care about the nasdaq stock exchange and the new york stock exchange now we want to download each of these so you click this download symbol list and it asks you to log in now this is free so just go and create an account Okay, so I'm logging in. Great, so I'm logged in. And uh, click the download button. Okay, the NYSE data has downloaded. And then we want to um, select the NASDAQ stock exchange. Great, and then we want to hit the download button. Hey, the, the, the NASDAQ data has been downloaded. Okay, so let's just... Uh, now, just, to, just to on hygiene or file hygiene, you could just click on these files here and open them up, but um, it's a good idea to... to keep all the data in one place. So what I've done is I've created a folder called investment and then market val model. And in that I've created a, a subfolder called data. And now in, in that date, data folder, that's where I've saved these particular bits of data. So this NASDAQ TXT, I, I copy that and paste that into this data folder and uh, so just in terms of hygiene file hygiene save your files in a central location I suggest the way that I've done it so I've created the folder market value model and then data so click on data so I've already saved these files there so just to show you what they look like okay you get these two text files it's just na with just stock symbols and names of companies. 
So there's the NASDAQ, there's the NYSE. So now open up a file in Excel and we're going to call this now once again file hygiene go and save it and save it in the same place so investment market value model now I've already got a, a, a file where I built this so I'm going to just call this um, 02 but um, or 01 uh, video okay so this this is the name the the code of what I'm working on investment tier 102 it's called list of all your stocks and uh, so we, we've saved the file now so now right click over here on sheet one rename data now this is just making making the Excel workbook um, uh, just easier to use and look nice so just going to my notes first thing is we want to remember where we've downloaded the data from so create create a tab because when you come back in a week's time in a month's time you're like where did I get that from just it's, it's good to leave a, a trail of breadcrumbs so call a tab called tab called source and then in the top right hand corner here just type website uh, description formatting make it nice and bold and now the website just copy this address and come back to your Excel workbook just paste that in there so now we have just a reference for you when you come back and whenever it is and you want to update this and go ah yes that's where I go from and call this this is the website used to download a list of NYS NYSE and NASDAQ stocks and just drag this column great hit save I'm paranoid about saving now create a new worksheet we're gonna need two here before we do that let's just uh, make it look nice you can use whatever color you want to use I've just colored that tab so you just right click and then tab color anyway um, so let's just rename this this is we're gonna call this NYSE stocks I'm going to call this rename NASDAQ stocks. Now this is just to keep all the data in one place. Just so that there's a, a nice trail. Just coloring the tabs. Once again, right click tab color. So the next thing is for the NYSE data. Go to the NYSE text file select all copy so control c and then uh, i can just go control v great so that's copied in there next thing is we want to get the nasdaq stock data so you go to the nasdaq text file control all say so control a um, and then control c um can you do control all oh they don't have it there anyway it's control a um so go there and then control a gives you everything control c go to nasdaq stocks and then that's control v paste it in there cool so we have the um that pasted in this. So the next thing is we want to create a, a combined list. So let's create a new tab. So click on this little um, new tab icon over here, or you can just uh, right click and go insert worksheets and just drag it. So left click, drag over there. We're going to call this combined list
Okay. Now, in that, we are going to paste. So take the NYSE data, control C, so select everything. So cursor in the top left hand corner, shift right arrow, shift control down arrow, you've got everything, control C, combine list, select there, and then control V. Okay. Double click on the uh, column B just to extend it. And then we're going to create a new heading here. So just type in exchange, select all of those, and then um, control B just to make it look nice. Then select row two and what we're going to do in view we're going to freeze panes so what that does now is as you scroll up and scroll down um you still got your headings so in under exchange type nyse so we just want to know where which exchange this particular stock is on so there we go uh, control down arrow that takes you to the bottom and what we then want to do is go into the NASDAQ stocks. Now select from uh, row two, shift right arrow, shift, con shift control, down arrow, control C, click on combined list, and then below the last line in the combined list sheet, control V. Now we want to type, uh, label this NASDAQ, NASDAQ stocks, it goes down, fantastic, control C, right. So now this is, this is, this is where the fun begins. We now have data that we can put into Python so that we can uh, scrape the uh, market cap data from the internet. Why we need the market cap is, as you can see, he has a list of six and a half thousand stocks. Now, below half a million, $500 million, I'm just not interested in looking at a company because it's just too small. So I only want to identify companies that have a value um, of more than 500 million. Uh, market cap value, that's the same thing. So we need, now need to put this data into Python. And the way we do it, is you select on this particular sheet and then you go you click on file save as and then what you do is you save it as a csv file so there we go csv now what i want to say and i already have a, a a version of this saved but um this is the file i'm going to save over list of all us stocks Okay, and then yeah, sorry. List of all US stocks in Pi. So what this in Pi means is this particular CS file is an input into Python. These other files have ended it without Pi. That shows that this is an output from Python, just to keep track of things. So let's click save. Yes, I want to replace it. Just click yes. So now if I close this particular workbook now, don't save. And then I go and open, open up that, that particular file. You will see, um, Okay, so this is the file I just saved now. Here we go, 727, I just saved it. Double click. It's just opened up in the other window, here we go. Here we go, what you have is just this data that we can use to input into uh, Python. Great, so hang on to your seats now, because this is where it starts to get fun. Sorry, I just want to move this across. So now go to Python. 
and we want to create a new code editor so click on the new button over here okay so now in Python now I'm going to kind of teach you Python as we go along uh, we want to first save this file so save as um, once again we have it in in high sort of uh, nice hygiene with our files market value mo model folder this is what I'm calling it in 20102 market cap check Python version 1 I'm just going to add in here video okay now if you look at the top of this new file in between these three quotation marks and another three quotation marks what this is is where you just kind of document what the file is doing so when you run this this piece of code it um, ignores what's in what's between those quotation marks so we're going to just label what this particular piece of code does so enter and then type um, this market this code scrapes the market cap value from the Zacks website for a given list of stocks okay fantastic right so we're in Python now and we, we need to build this code little by little so now the way Python works is you need to import the function that you're going to use um, yeah that's just how it is so the first thing that we want to do is we want to import the data that we've just um, worked on in Excel so we need to we need to import um, that function so uh, let's just call this so open up Python and type this this all along with me that's the best way to learn so this first line when you put you put the hash line in hash sign in front of something that comments it out so the computer ignores that so that's just to sort of say what's going on here so then type from OS import chdir okay so the function we're going to use is change dir and then below let's actually import that so um, change to the right folder and read in data to a data frame okay so that's what's going on here so now the code for that is chdr that's the function open brackets quotation mark quotation mark now what you do this file is saved in this directory so we're going to select in here we're going to copy and we're going to paste so Close that. Copy that. So we've so now we've pasted where the file comes from. Now Python, um, just a quirk of it, you need to have double double up these backslashes double up these backslashes great so now the way I like to work when writing code is I like to test it one piece of code at a time as I've written it to make sure it works so the way you do that is uh, in this block over here so let's just do your run your first bit of Python code so print hello world 
Hey, look, Prince Hello World. Welcome to using Python. So, first thing is copy this block of um, code here. I want to import the function. Paste it over there. Control V. Hit enter. Nothing happens, and that's what you want. It goes to the next line. It didn't fail. Okay. Um, same thing. Copy the next line in here. Control V. Enter. Nothing happens. So now if you type PWD or print working directory, it shows you that PWD. We're now working in that particular folder. Great. So now we've read in the data. The next thing we need to do is we're going to scrape the marker cap data from a site called Zax. So just to show you, go to your browser, open your window, and we want to type in zax.com. opens up. So let's just type in a quote here. Um, Apple. I think it's AAPL. There we go. Apple Inc. Enter. Okay. I accept. And if you scroll down, we want to pull out this particular line. The market cap of... I don't want your free report. Apple, Apple Inc there's this market cap. We want to download that data. Right, so let's get to it. So to use this, we need to use a function um, called beautiful soup. Okay. Um, so let's just type that in. Oh no, before that, sorry. We want to first just quickly um, read in the date, uh, read in the um, text data that we worked on in Excel. So we want to create a very a data frame, which is basically like a spreadsheet but within Python. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna stick with me here. Co list company list is what we're gonna call it is equal to, and the function. So the function is PD. Wait, no. Before we do that, we need to import the um, function used to do this, which is from the pandas library. So you go up here, you type in import pandas as PD. So when you go as PD, all that's doing is shortening what you refer to the code to further down. So now we've imported imported pandas. And let's just paste it in here. Enter. Nothing happens. Fantastic. So colus PD, which is the same thing over here. Dot read CSV. The function does what it says. So um Let's just copy the file name of what we're reading. Um, the CSV, which is this file. I click on, I right click and then I click rename and then, oh uh, wait, no, sorry. In Pi, there we go. Rename. Control A all, Control C, escape. So that's just copying the name 